Well, tonight, dozens of brides are furious after being stood up by their florists. So she's accused of taking their money and never actually delivering their flowers. She's been sued and arrested before. And tonight, she's in the Hamilton County Justice Center after being arrested once again for doing the exact same thing. And that's where we find our Luke Jones. So Luke, explain all of this to us. Well, first, Kyle, this charge is pretty telling. It's engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. So far, we've identified more than 70 victims spanning some 12 counties, including right here in Hamilton County. When it comes to bringing the goods, prosecutors say this florist is a shrinking violet. Monday, Desiree Pace was arrested once again after prosecutors say her company, Flowers by Des, failed to deliver. Wedding planner Angela Lemke says four of her brides hired flowers by Des, but when the first wedding rolled around in 2021, she says they were deserted by Des. Flowers by Des just didn't show up. They were never there. We never got a call, a cancellation, anything else. That year, the Ohio Attorney General sued Pace. She was ordered to pay $100,000 in restitution and penalties and to stop doing business. The Hamilton County charges all relate to things she's accused of doing between 2019 and 2021. Prosecutors say she cheated 28 people out of a combined $31,000. What it looks like she was doing is she was using a bride who paid her deposit to pay for the wedding that she had currently. And eventually that's going to run out. And I think that's what happened. A Highland County woman tells us Pace charged her more than $1,500. Then, a day before her wedding in 2021, she got this email telling her Pace was in the hospital and wouldn't be able to deliver the flowers. It resulted in Pace's conviction for theft by deception. There was whole families who were upset. People had to scramble at the last minute to put together bouquets. And we can confirm right now Pace is still booked here in the Hamilton County Jail. But on the 15th, she's actually supposed to be in court up in Butler County. That's when her trial on a felony theft charge is set to start. We're live downtown tonight. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. All right, Luke, thank you so much. So the original motion here from prosecutors says Pace has victims as far away as Cleveland, her bond is set at $50,000.